Our top story this morning, a man and woman are in custody in connection with the death of a 28-year-old OPP officer. For the latest on this investigation, we go live now to CP24's crime analyst Steve Ryan, who's outside the chief coroner's office near Keel and Wilson. Steve. Sadly, we are out front of the uh, coroner's building here at uh, Keel and Wilson uh, once again. Inside of this building is where the body of the 28-year-old constable uh, rests. Uh, he will undergo an autopsy today, so the pathologist will be able to make an exact determination as to what his cause of death was. What we know, according to the OPP, was that uh, this 28-year-old officer who had been with the OPP for a year and just got off of probation, meaning that after being scrutinized by his peers for 10 months and being evaluated, he was able to sign on that dotted line acknowledging after 10 months that his probation was now over and he was out on the road by himself for the very first time yesterday when he responded or came across a call where there was a car in a ditch. As he approached that car in uh, the ditch, uh, he was shot by both now accused that were the occupants of that vehicle and he died as a result of uh, his injury. So we are seeing this far too often. There are far too many police officers uh, getting killed and we are learning, haven't have any information about the gun used today, but most of the times the guns that are used to kill these officers are illegal guns. So here's what I foresee perhaps happening in the future and that is officers approaching every situation as a tactical situation and what I mean by that is a traffic stop which can be incredibly dangerous because you do not know what the driver is like you do not know who the driver is you do not know what type of day the driver is having you could run the plate the plate tells you who owns the car and what the owner of the car may be up to crim criminal wise but not the driver so you might now in the future a very near future I might suggest see the police approaching all situations from a tactical perspective. And I say that because the last few officers that were shot, the last four as a matter of fact, did not even have their firearms out it, because that's not what we do in Canada. But times have changed. And until such time that our borders are plugged, we are gonna see more and more guns on the streets. And that's not only putting the citizens of our country, of Toronto, in danger, but also the police officers that are out there day in and day out protecting us. Even if, let's just say hypothetically, even if every Canadian in this country, all 25 plus million, did not own a gun. Not one gun existed in this country, legally. Even if that was the case, that's not going to stop or would not have stopped those officers from being killed because the borders are still wide open when it comes to smuggling. And until the smuggling um, is addressed properly by those in authority, not the police. The police are doing their best to try to plug those holes. Clearly, they need more help. And until that's done, we're going to see an awful lot more injuries and deaths when it comes to uh, police engaging with the public. So next time you're stopped by the police, just do not be surprised if their approach to you is not one of these where they go, hey, how's your day? You've been speeding. It may be a little bit different given the fact that there are so many guns out there on the streets now and far too many police officers have lost their lives. I'll send it back to you. CP24's crime analyst Steve Ryan this morning. Thank you. And staying with this story, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau calls the news of this heartbreaking. He says to the fallen officers, family, friends and colleagues, the thoughts of all Canadians are with you. Mayor Shelley Bentley of Haldeman County released a statement reading in part, I am deeply saddened by the loss of one of our officers who died today in the line of duty. Every day, our country's first responders risk their lives for the safety of our community, and a tragedy like today's is one we hope never comes. Our hearts go out to the officer's family, his OPP colleagues, and all first responders impacted by this horrific event. OPP Commissioner Thomas Carrick writing on Twitter, It is with an extremely heavy heart that I regretfully advise that OPP Constable Gregor Pirchala was killed today while courageously serving. Our hearts are with his loved ones and all OPP members at this tragic time. Also, Premier Doug Ford posted this message to social media. I am horrified by the killing of an on-duty OPP officer. Thank you to the officers who apprehended the suspects without incident. Our first responders are true heroes. We share in the pain felt by family, friends and the entire police community as Ontario mourns this loss.